What would a print on demand business owner do in a 14 day quarantine to create a business from nothing all the way to selling t-shirts? That is what I'm gonna tell you in this video. I'm gonna do a timeline of the 14 days, a bit similar to my video yesterday, except this is going to be based solely on print on demand. Now, before we get started, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hitting the bell notification. I think, I think I'm, I'm get like 30% of my subscribers watching, which means 70% of people aren't actually subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and let's get to 10,000 subscribers. And for now, I'm just gonna quickly time lapse my way through drawing this, and then I'm going to explain the 14 day process of starting a print on demand business if you are stuck in quarantine. So this is what it looks like. The bottom is research, the top is going to be ads. Okay, and you've got day one to day 14. Again, very similar to my Amazon one. And what's our line going to look like? Well, ads don't actually happen till, well, about day 13, okay? So day 13 is going to be <clears throat> up here, right? And that's where it's gonna go up. But it's going to be more like that kind of curve. Okay, and the reason why it feels like you're doing research for so long with this is because we want to get every single step ready before we start ads, because we don't want to start spending money on ads unless we are somewhat sure the product is going to be successful, the t-shirt is going to be successful. And also, I just have to say, in England, I don't know where in the world you are, but if you're in England, you can probably relate to this, the whole year we have the worst weather, okay? And then as soon as there's a lockdown, we're stuck inside and the weather's amazing. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I don't even know, but let's start with day, let's just get into it, all right? We're gonna start with day one to, I've got my notes here on my, my phone here because I don't wanna miss anything out, but we're gonna do day one to day three, okay? Day one to day three is audience research. What does audience research mean? So a lot of people will get this the wrong way round and they will do design research and niche research before they actually do audience research. And audience research is the most important part because that's telling you whether or not your, your t-shirt has an audience for you to target. Does that make sense? So how does one do audience research? Let me go onto my computer here and I'm actually gonna show you exactly how to do audience research. So what we wanna do is we wanna to go to something called Audience Insights on Facebook, okay? And once we're there, we're gonna actually be able to start doing our research. I've also created this, <clears throat> this spreadsheet in Google Sheets, right, where we will put the niche in, we'll put the targeting keywords in, we'll put the country and the age. For example, if we're doing something in the dog niche, we could do something like dog rescue, okay? And that is considered an audience interest. Now we've got the country United States here, right? We could put more in. I know this isn't loading, it's more because my internet's a bit slow. But basically we can put in a lot more here. So dog rescue, there's gonna to be tons of dog rescue places. Like absolutely tons, so you've got 40 to 45,000. And this is for rocket dog rescue. And let me get rid of this one because this is employees. But Rocket Dog Rescue, that seems quite targeted, right? And then you can do tons more like that. So in here, we would do niche dog targeting keywords, Rocket Dog Rescue, country, United States, and age. Well, let's have a look at the age. <clears throat> the age, I would say, only target anything over 10%. So leave out 18 to 24 because it's really low. And you can probably target 25 to 65. So I would put in over here, 25 to 65, okay? Now this is all happening from day one to day three. So what you wanna try and do is try and get maybe 10 different niches, each with maybe five to 10 different keywords, and then the country and the age, okay? So that's, that's the audience research bit. That's day one to day three. Let's go on to day four. Day four to day six is going to be design research, okay? Design research is, well, now that you have a solid audience, you need to have some solid designs. If you don't have good designs, no one's gonna buy anything from you. So <clears throat> that's why design research is absolutely vital, and that's why I give you two whole days to go out and do it. Now, websites you can do it on. Websites, let's go. You can do it on websites like Redbubble. You can do it on websites like Teespring. You can do it on websites like Pinterest. And you can do it on Google, okay? 
Now, hypothetically, let's say that we are going to delve in deeper with the dog niche, right? We could just put in here. Put in dog into red bubble, <clears throat> and then we get some ideas. Right now we can see clothing. We can filter by, let's say we're just gonna sell t-shirts. So filter by clothing, let that load, and then we get some ideas, okay? Now you can do the same thing with Teespring. So do Teespring forward slash discover. And that's where you can do some research on Teespring. So you've got animals here. And then Pinterest, Pinterest is more to get funny ideas. So you would put something like dog funny t-shirt. Now you can see which ones are popular on Teespring by clicking, by, uh, sorry, on Pinterest by. That came with the video. By clicking and seeing how many people like it, how many comments there are. So <clears throat> you can actually see how popular they are, right? It doesn't really have that much interest, these kind of t-shirts, but, but you can create a list of t-shirts and what you can do is you can create in your Google Sheets, you can go and create another sheet and do, for example, you can call this dog, slow dog, I'm just gonna call it dog ideas. And then you can do t-shirt text Make that bigger. Oop, I didn't want to get bigger for some reason. So there we go. And now we can come up with some funny, I don't know, pug life. And then we can come up with a whole bunch of different t-shirt design ideas, basically. Okay, now that is day four to day Eight. Sorry, I don't know why I said I only gave you two days for this. I give you four days for this because I want you to try and create designs for every single one of your niches. So let's say you have 10 niches because we said about get about 10 niches in three days and then create maybe three designs for each niche. So that's 30 designs to create. Now, in terms of what to search on Google, it's very similar to um, as to what you're searching on Pinterest. You can just type in dog funny t-shirt, dog t-shirt quote dog motivational t-shirt or dog joke t-shirt, anything like that, obviously with your niche, right? That is the research phase. Day nine and day 10 is design creation, okay? Design creation is, you can use pretty much, you can use Canva, you can use Photoshop, you can use, oh, there's so many, there's um, that free one, I forgot what it's called, GIMP, you can use GIMP, that's what it's called. And if you're not able to design, you can use 99designs, you can use Fiverr, you can use Upwork to outsource your designs, or outsource the work and actually get people to design for you. Now, <clears throat> I have actually created a video on how to design a t-shirt and I'll, if I remember, I'll link it over here and you can actually go and see me design an exact t-shirt in Photoshop. So you can actually go and see if you wanna try and figure it out yourself. But if you don't, use one of those three websites and that's why I give you two days because a lot of those websites will have a two day turnaround time. So you've got the ninth day and the 10th day. Our aim for these two days are going to be with our 10 niches to try and get two designs per niche minimum. If you can do more then brilliant. If you can't do more then whatever. But two designs per niche means that by the end of day 10, you will have 20 designs to go ahead with. That's a lot of designs to go ahead with. And this is all great because a lot of these designs are going to be are going to fail, like they're not gonna work, okay? A lot of people say it's every every seven designs you have one successful one. Now, I don't know how true that is, but the point is the more designs you have, the more chance you have of actually succeeding with this, okay? Day 11 is t-shirt creation. Now, that's not the same as design creation. T-shirt creation actually means going onto Teespring, going onto Redbubble, going onto Printful, whatever websites you're planning on launching your t-shirts on and actually uploading them, uploading the description, uploading the title, preparing them entirely like that. I've only given you one day for this because it really doesn't take that long. You could probably spend about three hours and have a page set up for every single one of your 20 designs. So literally it will only take a couple of hours. And then you've got day 12. Day 12 is going to be our marketing day. Again, it's just going to be one day. And the reason for this is I don't want you to create marketing material for all of the designs. I want you to create marketing materials for maybe five of the designs and then test out those five designs 
And once you've done that, then create marketing material for the next five designs and test out those designs. So when I create, when I, when I say marketing material, I mean create mock-ups in terms of photo mock-ups, video mock-ups, just like that Pinterest video that popped up just then. Create marketing images with the description for Facebook ads, meaning you might not just want a t-shirt just blank on a Facebook ad. You might want it to be with a background, with a person, with a prop, a whole a whole um, catalog of t-shirts, whatever it may be. Create those mock-ups on day 12, okay? And then I want you to create the ad copy, okay? The ad copy is the description that you're gonna have. So let's say you have a Facebook ad and it's a newsfeed ad, which is like a big ad that when you're scrolling down Facebook, you see the newsfeed ad. The ad description is going to be above the image, okay? And that's gonna be saying like, are you uh, a dog lover? Do you have a dog? Blah, 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 blah. Get the t-shirt now, whatever it's gonna say, okay? I'm not writing the ad copy now, okay? Now that's day 12, day 13 and day 14. 14, and by the way, I'm really sorry, I just have not, I, I just haven't been keeping up with this guy over here, but you know what, useless. Okay, day 13 and day 14, I guess I might as well start now, this is the last two days, I put, I put the first three days in and the last two days, but basically day 13 and 14 is I want you to pick three designs, okay, only three, three of the designs, and <clears throat> I want you to create Facebook ads for those three designs, and you should be targeting the, the, the targeting that you found earlier in your audience research, okay? So you should have your audience research here in this spreadsheet, and I want you to actually go and target the audiences that you've made. Now you can do it with a few different methods. I like the five by five by five method, five times five times five, which is five ads, five different targeting, and five dollars, okay? You can take it a step further and do five countries, or five age groups, whatever you wanna do, but I recommend doing it with five ads, that way you're spending $25 to test one t-shirt. Within, after spending $25, test one t-shirt, you should see some results. If you're not seeing any sales at all, scrap that t-shirt, but that's what day 15 is about. And I know we've gone over a day, but it's vital. So that is what day 13 to day 14 is. Okay, that's going to be testing ads. So again, if you do it with three different t-shirts, you're creating 15 ads because it's five ads per t-shirt and you're spending a total of $75 because it's 25, 25 and 25. Okay, $75 is not that much money to test three t-shirts, right? And then you've got day 15. I know we're one day over quarantine, but who are we kidding? We're gonna be stuck inside for months. All right, so so day 15, let's go. Let's go. On day 15, I want you to look over the ad and see your results. Did you get any sales? Did you not get any sales? Did you get a lot of comments? Did you get a lot of likes? Did you get a lot of shares? Okay, I want you to try and think think through your ad and see whether or not you should keep it going. So if you've got any sales, keep it going 100%. Okay, keep it going and even put more money into the ad. If you didn't get any sales, but you've got a lot of shares, a lot of comments and a lot of likes, positive, then post, then, then keep it going for one more day. Just one more day, okay? If you didn't get many likes, didn't get many shares, didn't get many comments, right, then don't keep it going, okay? The most important aspect is the shares as well because the more shares, they accumulate over time and a lot more people see your ad. So if you've got a lot of shares, then maybe keep the ad going for one more day. But if you haven't, then just pause that ad, forget that t-shirt or maybe even forget that audience, okay, and move on. The t-shirt might still be good, but the audience might not, okay? And then move on and literally just do that for the next batch of t-shirts when you're ready, the next three, the next three, the next three because you've got yourself 20 different designs that you could go ahead with. That is it really for the 14 plus one day quarantine for a print on demand business owner. I hope that made sense. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions regarding any of this stuff and I'll do my best to help you out. But as I said, I hope this made sense. It made sense in my head. So now technically you know how to start an Amazon business if you wanna watch yesterday's video and you know how to start a print on demand business both in 14 days. So over 30 days, you could have two successful businesses up and running. So I hope you like this. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to getting to 10,000 and I just wanna get there. Maybe I can try and get there by the end of this lockdown period. That will be quite a successful lockdown period for me if I'm able to hit 10,000 subscribers. But anyway, thank you very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's, if I do one tomorrow. If not, I'll see you in the next days.